Hey, what's going on there, guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm back with a, another intro pack to share with you guys. This time, we are cracking into the Cons of Tarkir intro packs, and this is the Mardu Raiders intro pack. So it is white, black, and red. So these intro packs are geared for newer players. That is their target market here. Uh, they are meant to be products that new players can just kind of buy into. They're only about 12 or 15 bucks, depending on where you look at. And they are pretty much pre-constructed and ready to go as far as playing Magic is concerned. Um, you buy this deck, it has a 60 card pre-built deck here. Um, and it also has two booster packs that you can uh, use to modify your decks and add some things in. And even have the chance of pulling some better cards that will suit the deck uh, a little bit better for, uh, for what you're trying to do. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cheap. They're um, pretty easy to find as far as like going to like a local card shop or even finding them online or even at like a Target or Walmart. Uh, you should be able to find these pretty easily and uh, they're great for new players. That's, that's basically uh, if you're a new player and you're looking for a way to get into the game, this is exactly what you want to be buying. Um, so we have some inserts here. We have a insert for the intro packs themselves and a rules reference card. We're going to open this up very quick uh, just so you guys can see it. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time actually taking a look at this insert. But it does talk about the different clans from uh, the cons of Tarkir set. And uh, it just kind of highlights over them real quick. Uh, each intro pack uh, it features a different clan. Um, it has the deck lists for each one of them, uh, which I'm not going to get up and close enough so you guys can check them out. If you're really interested enough, uh, you can find the deck lists online or you can actually even just pay attention to the channel here. I'm going to be opening up all the intro packs and uh, you guys will get a first-hand look at the contents of them and uh, the random booster packs as well. Uh, we're going to throw all the rest of this stuff off to the side and we're actually going to take a look at our deck here. So. Uh, you get one foil rare, and you also get one regular rare within this deck. Our foil rare is Ankle Shanker, which actually happens to be one of the many promos that were available for the pre-release and were randomly inserted for uh, the pre-release if you chose Mardu. Uh, so Ankle Shanker is our rare here, our foil rare, 2-2 two, two for 5, haste, and whenever it attacks, creatures you control gain first rake, and Death Touch until the end of the turn, which is really nuts. Uh, our other rare that we have is uh, Crackling Doom. So it deals 2 damage to each opponent, and each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power amongst creatures he or she controls. And it's 1 red, 1 white, and 1 black. Pretty sweet. Uh, as for the rest of our cards, we have uh, Firehoof Cavalry, uh, Mardu Hate Blade, Borderland Marauder, two of those, Valley Dasher, uh, War Name Aspirant, uh, Gurmog Swiftwing, Mardu Skull Hunter, times two, Goblin Rough Rider, Mardu Horde Chief. So there's a lot of like haste and tokens type stuff going on here. Uh, Carrion Crow, Necrogen Scudder, uh, Mardu War Shrieker, another War Shrieker, Timely Horde Mate to bring back your. Uh, Creature with raid, uh, a creature with converted mana cost two or less um, from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mardu Rough Rider. Uh, we have a few dual lands here, so Bloodfell Caves, some Nomad Outposts, uh, Scoured Barons, Wind Scarred Crag, and then we have our basic lands here. Uh, we also have Crippling Blight to give minus one, minus one, and camp block to a creature that we uh, choose to enchant with it. Uh, lightning Strikes, or just one Lightning Strike, rather. Uh, raise the Alarm, Mardu Banner, Trumpet Blast, two of those, Hordling Outburst, Mardu Charm, with its variable modes, all of which are pretty awesome. Uh, bring Low, Smite the Monstrous, Arrow Storm, Flesh to Dust, and Heat Ray. Pretty sweet. Alright, so that is our deck. Let's take a look at our booster packs and see what we have inside of here. And see if we can play the lottery for maybe like a fetch land or maybe a sweet legendary creature or something like that. Alright, so we have Leaping Master, Rush of Battle, Awaken the Bear, we have Molting Snakeskin, Abomination of Gadul, Singing Bell Strike, Dismal Backwater, Bloodfire Mentor, we have Lens of Clarity, Dragon Grip, 
And it looks like we have a foil in here. Gurmog Swiftwing. Uh, Horde Ambusher. We have Rux Shasa uh, Vizier for our rare. So it's a 4 4 for 5. And uh, whenever one or more cards are put into exile from your graveyard, put that many plus one plus one counters on the visor. Or vizier. Vizier. Yeah, there we go. Vizier. I don't know why I'm mispronouncing that. Vizier. Um, so, pretty sweet card for uh, Sultai, and it plays into the delve mechanic, which is really awesome. Uh, really fun card to play around. Um, it's kind of like uh, Sadisi, pretty much. Uh, like kind of has the same ability to it um and it might be a little bit easier to find and we have a foil swamp so it looked like it was a land and i didn't want to get my hopes up because um sometimes you'll get like uh foil uh versions of these lands the uh the dual lands that let you gain one life and enter the battlefield top so uh <laughs> don't get too excited until you like fully read the card um but it foil swamps really sweet nonetheless then we have a force and a insert so let's pull out our rare and whatnot. And our second pack. Yeah, the amount of times that uh, we've gone through packs and we've seen those uh, those foil uh, lands and we thought that they were fetch lands is just uh, massive. Uh, so we have uh, Anok Tracker, Defiant Strike, Skullkin, Bloodfire Expert, we have Oli Luxidon, uh, Rakshasa's Secret, Yes Sky Banner, or Just Sky Banner, however you guys choose to pronounce it, Naturalize, uh, Blossoming Sands, Incremental Growth, Abzan Falconer, or Falconer, Falconer, yeah, not Falconer, Heart Piercer Bow. Hardened scales, and it looks like we have a foil in this pack as well, which is really sweet. Uh, so for one green enchantment, if one or more plus one plus one counters would be placed on a creature you control, uh, that many plus one plus one, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are placed on it instead. Uh, on it instead. So it's kind of hard to actually say, um, but uh, the way the way that the card is, uh, whatever amount would be placed, it's that amount plus one instead. And then we have a foil. Incremental growth, which is pretty sweet. And then we have a planes and a tip card. Or insert card, rather, not really a tip card. But uh, either way, that is our uh, intro pack for Mardu. And those are our random booster packs of awesomeness and foil stuff and uh, all the value. And I absolutely love foil basic lands anyway, so that's really awesome. Um, but yeah, like I said previously, if you guys are new to the game and you're looking for a way to easily just kind of jump right on into it, this is definitely something that you want to buy. If you guys are interested in seeing the rest of the intro packs firsthand, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are going to be opening up all of the rest of them as well, and uh, you will get a firsthand look at the contents of them. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and peace out. If you guys want to keep up to date with everything that we have going on here at Absolute MTG, remember to hit that subscribe button, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. Also, remember to check out our sponsors of the channel, MTG Madness and AVUGames.com. But as always, thank you guys for watching.